Hi everybody, it's Janice, and it is Friday, November 28th, the day after Thanksgiving, also known as Black Friday. <laughs> um, today I am bringing you a more complicated card. Yesterday I made the elf card, and today I wanted to get a little bit messy and inky, and so that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, we're going to make this one. This version of the card is just using some... Uh, distress ink. I used the peacock feathers on this one and just sponged it in the traditional or inked it in the traditional way. Um, so that's that one. But I wanted, again, I wanted to get a little bit, a little more artsy. And so I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, I used some watercolor paper and this is what it looked like when I started, I have so much stuff on my table that I can't even think. Um, this is just plain watercolor paper. It's it's kind of like an off-white look, um, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna do this technique to it. So what I did, just to this portion, we're just gonna talk about this portion because you need to let this part dry, and so I'm gonna show you what I did. I got this modeling um, cream quite some time ago. I um, I think I found it on Clarence or something like that at Hobby Lobby or something like that. I just thought, well, you know what, for the price, let's give it a try. And I really like it. It's by Viva. And I know probably for most of you that do mixed media, that's old news but it is really fun to use and I like the way that it that it looks. It's it's really metallic-y. I'm going to put this Heidi Swap stencil right here on my paper. And I'm I'm using this piece of scrap paper because I want to kind of contain the mess a little bit. So it's it's definitely a creamy kind of paste. And then we just push it through the stencil, through the stars. I love this, this stencil. I got this at Michael's. It's got little dots as well as um, hearts. So it's good. And then I just take the excess and put it back in the jar. And it dries fairly quickly, I think. And then we're going to take off the stencil and because of that you you know as soon as I'm done with the video I'm going to go and wash this stencil off because it does dry fast and it can ruin your stencil if the embossing or the cream the modeling cream cream dries in inside of the stars then you know it will kind of clog it up okay so this has to dry and like I said it really doesn't take that long once it dries I um, took a little piece of a um, craft sheet. I take these and I have one that I've cut into four pieces. So I just have these little pieces to work on. And I ran some salty ocean and some tumble glass. And I really like the salty ocean the best. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and then I just wet it, okay? Then once this is dry, which we can even speed it up a little bit. You don't wanna heat this too much because if you do, the paste begins to bubble. So if that's the look you want, you can do that. Another thing you can do with this is sprinkle it with embossing powder. I like to add gold embossing powder on top and it looks really cool. Makes it sparkly. I mean, if it's glittery embossing powder, which I have the recollections kind and it is really beautiful. Okay. So try not to bubble this up too much. Ah, there goes the glue. 
glue gun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this through the distress ink and it looks all splotchy right now. So what we wanna do is add some water and just have fun with it. And just let the water run however you want. If you want more color or you just add more. Now while it's still in this, while it's still wet, you want to quickly, I'm gonna get this piece of scrap paper again. Oh no, that's my glitter one. Okay, we'll just do it here. I'm gonna wet this a little bit more. We're gonna get some Epsom salts. Just whatever you have or whatever. This is the cheapest kind I found at Target. I bought it because I made some little salts, some bath, or not bath salts, but just like um, salt scrubs with um, some essential oils. And you just take a little bit and you just sprinkle them. You sprinkle it on there. And all that's going to do is draw the moisture and it draws the color and it kind of makes it concentrated in, in certain spots. And again, this is a little harder to do with a camera in front of my face. Okay, so we're not going to watch this whole process right now because this, this you do want to leave. You want to kind of leave it for a while, like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just let it be and then come back to it. And then when you, when you, hold on, I'm trying to move this, not make a huge mess. Okay, so then when you get it, after it's been sitting for a while, it's gonna look kind of like this, but it's gonna have all of that salt kind of all crusty. So you take it over to the trash and you flick it on the back and the salt, most of it will fall off. Some of it kind of sticks, and because I didn't wait long enough, because I really needed to do this video, it, it really is, you see how it's like, I mean, there's actual salt on here. And there was some on the embossed areas, so I took a, a wet wipe and I wiped it and took off the color that was uh, layered and accumulated on the stars. Then I took some, um, took a sentiment and I stamped it. And here's another one. This one came out a little lighter. Here's another one. So see, every single one's gonna be a little bit different. And that's what I like about it. So then we take our sentiment and we stamp it. This is a joy to the world that I've had for a very long time. Could not tell you where I got it, but probably Joann's or Michael's. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it. The ink I'm using is Ancient Page and it is waterproof dye ink. I'm just gonna go up here in this corner and just stamp it. Okay. So that's, that's that part. Then the next um, step that I took was that I um, cut an angel from Joys of the Season at, let's see. Let's see, what did I, oh, I cut it at two inches. I ran it through my sticker maker, and then I sprinkled this glitter from Joann's on it. And look how, I love how that looks. And then for this particular card, I did use my glue gun, just because it was warmed up from making those elves. I finished those this morning. And I like using hot glue sometimes because it's kind of like a zot. If you just don't press it down all the way, don't press your image down all the way, it's gonna add dimension to it. Let's 
so it's just kind of popped up a little bit. Okay, and then basically at this point, my card is nearly done. Um, I'll just show you, I'll just tell you what I did. I used again one of these cards that had the little pig in the front from Michaels. And I basically, I bought them for the purpose of having an almost done card. And so all you have to do is add a panel. I cut the panel at three and three quarter by five and I ran it through an embossing folder, a snowflakes embossing folder. And then before I put it down, I put it down on the card and before I put this down, I used some American Crafts uh, a sticker, or not sticker, glitter tape. And I just did like a little bit, just like maybe an inch and a half and an inch and a half at the bottom. And then set this on top. And then that was my, that was my card. So I hope you like it. I really like the way it turned out. And um, stay tuned. We're, I will be making another card probably tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.